it's day one of our 12 days of crocheters. So let's open box one and see what we're making today. Now, make sure you watch to the end of the video to get a hint as to what we're making tomorrow. So let's find box one. Here it is. So the hint for box one was that this creature scatters cubes around to mark its territory. Let's see if any of you got it right. So it looks like today we are making a little wombat. And of course that hint was in reference to the fact that wombats poop cubes. Remember to post photos of your finished creatures to the Complicated Knots Discord or on Instagram using the tag hashtag 12 days of crochet to be in with the chance to receive a digital copy of all 12 patterns. All right, let's get into it. So this is the wombat we're making today. He has some little ears that we've built as we go and he uses little clusters for his feet. So let's talk tools and materials. You're going to need 8 ply 100% acrylic yarn in one colour, as well as a small amount of white and a small amount of black, a pair of 9mm safety eyes, your 3.5mm hook, scissors and some stuffing. Okay, so grab the colour you're using today and we're going to start with a magic ring of 5. So one thing I learned about wombats as I was designing this particular one is that they are definitely a base 5 creature, not a base 6 creature. We're then going to work an increase into each stitch around for 10 stitches in total. Like so. Then in round three, we're going to work five repeats of a single crochet and then an increase, which will bring our round up to 15 single crochet. In row four, we're going to work two single crochet, an increase, three single crochet, and then three repeats of an increase and a single crochet. So that's our first one, and then we're going to do two more. Increase, single crochet, increase, and single crochet. Then to finish off the round, we're going to work two single crochet and one final increase. So there we are at the end of row four. You should count and make sure that you have 20 stitches around. Now for row five, we're going to work four repeats of three single crochet, an increase, and then a single crochet. So there is our first one. And we're gonna repeat that three more times around to bring our stitch count up to 24. What you should be able to see is we've gone from our five pointed shape to a kind of rounded four pointed shape. Now in row six, we're going to build his little ears. So we start by working three single crochet. And then we're going to put our first little ear in. So the ears take place all in the front loop of the stitch. So when you look down at your work, you should be able to see two loops for each stitch. And normally you'd work through both of them. For this ear, you're just going to insert your hook through the front loop only. And all these stitches are worked through the same front loop. So two single crochet, then we're going to chain two, chain pretty tightly, and then still in the same front loop, we're going to work two more single crochet. So there is his first little ear, and now I'm just going to mark the back loop that we didn't use. That's because we're going to need it on the next row. So now we need to work around the head to where we want the second ear to be placed. So we're gonna go back to working through both loops, and we're going to work 18 single crochet around. So that's 18. Note that we've worked nearly the whole way around the head. And then in the next stitch, we're going to work his second ear. So once again, working just in the front loop, we're going to put all in the same stitch, two single crochet, two very tight little chains, and then two more single crochet. So there is the ear. And then once again, I'm going to stop and mark the back loop that we didn't use. And a bobby pin I found makes a really good stitch marker. <laughs> So then we have one stitch left to finish the row. So going back to working through both loops, we're just going to put one single crochet in. So that is what your wombat head should look like. So row seven, we're going to start by working three single crochet around. 
You're then going to fold your ear forward and single crochet into the back loop that you've marked. You can then remove your marker. You don't need that anymore. And then what you should do is identify the first single crochet that occurs after that ear and that's the next stitch we're going to stitch into. So the next instruction is two repeats of four single crochet and then a single crochet three together. So we'll start by working those four single crochet. That's four. And then we're going to single crochet three together. Now that's basically just a slightly extended decrease. I do mine as invisible decreases. So all that means is I insert my hook through the front loop only of the next three stitches. I yarn over and pull a loop up through all three. And then I yarn over and pull through the final two loops to finish off that stitch. So that's our first repeat. And then we're going to do it again. So four single crochet. And then single crochet three together again. We're then going to work four single crochet. Once again, fold the ear forward and single crochet into our marked back loop. Then identify the first single crochet after the ear, which you can do by like counting. So one, two, there's my chains, three and four. So it's this one here. And single crochet into it to finish our round. So this is what your wombat currently looks like. So those single crochet three togethers have been used to form his cheeks and we've also just locked in his little pointy ears. So at this point we are going to stop and insert our eyes. So his eyes go in just after row two. So if you identify your starting magic ring you should see the second circle around it is row two and you want to insert them on opposite sides of that starting magic ring. So you can see my magic ring there that's where my first eye is going and then on row two on the other side that's where the second eye is going then we're just going to pop our backs on. Like so. Okay, so we have 20 stitches left in our round. And for row eight, we're going to put a single crochet into each of them. Then for row nine, we're going to start with two repeats of a single crochet and then an increase. Then four single crochet. An increase, five single crochet along the bottom of the head, increase, four single crochet, and a final increase to finish the round. So that's your wombat's head and neck, and in the next round we're going to add his front feet. So. This is row 10 and we're going to start with two repeats of two single crochet and an increase. Then four single crochet and an increase. Which should bring you around to the underside of your wombat, sort of off to one side, just behind one of his cheeks. And in that stitch we are going to put his first foot. Now I always thought these were popcorn stitches but it turns out they are five double crochet clusters and so that's how they're marked in the pattern. And how we do them is it's basically working five double crochet into the same stitch and then kind of joining them together on the top. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to yarn over my hook, insert through my stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. And then going to yarn over and pull through the first two loops on my hook leaving two loops still on my hook. So that's our first one and we're going to do that four more times. So yarn over, insert, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through the first two. So you should be able to see there that I have five of these little sort of started double crochets on my hook leaving me with six loops in total. I'm then going to yarn over one final time and pull through all six of those. And then just chain one to lock it all into place. So there is our five double crochet cluster. We are going to work five single crochet along his belly. And then in the next stitch, we're going to work a second five double crochet cluster to form his second front foot. like so, so you can see his two little feet. We are then going to work an increase, five single crochet, and an increase to finish the round. So you should stop and count at this point and make sure you have 30 available stitches to work into. 
And then in row 11, we're going to put a single crochet into each of them. Now be careful as you work around, your 15th stitch should fall on the top of your five double crochet cluster. And then across the stomach, we have 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. I find counting that way can really help avoid losing a stitch to one of the clusters. So then stitch 21 falls into your second five double crochet cluster. And then we have nine single crochet to work back to the start of our row. So when you're at the end of the row, once again, count and just make sure you have 30 stitches. And I do. <laughs> For row 12, we're going to start with working 13 single crochet around. We're then going to single crochet three together behind that first foot. Work four single crochet across the belly. And then single crochet three together behind the second foot. And work seven single crochet to get back to our starting point. It's then three rows of 26 single crochet around for a combined total of 78 stitches. 35, 36, 37, 76, 77, 78. Which brings us to round 16 where we're going to give him his back feet. So start by working 14 single crochet around to where we want the first foot to be. And in the next stitch, we're going to work another five double crochet cluster. So just the same as we worked the front feet. Then five single crochet across. And then his final foot, so a five double crochet cluster. And five single crochet to work back to the start of our round. So we now basically have four rows just to close off the back of his butt. That's going to start with three repeats of a decrease and then a single crochet. And I am using invisible decreases for this as well. Then three single crochet. And then we're going to single crochet three together across the back of this foot. So what that looks like is the first two loops are the first two stitches before the cluster. And then the final stitch is the cluster itself. So there's our decrease. I'm going to work four single crochet along his tummy. And then we're going to work another single crochet three together for the back of this foot. So for this one, it's one stitch before the cluster, the cluster itself, and then one stitch after the cluster. And work our decrease. I'm then going to work four single crochet to finish my round. And you should have 19 stitches in your round at this point. Row 18 is a decrease, two single crochet, and then three repeats of a decrease and three single crochets. So that's our decrease. And then one, two, three. That's our first repeat and we're gonna do it twice more. So at this point, we're going to stop and stuff our little wombat. You can stuff him relatively firmly. Yarn scraps are perfectly acceptable stuffing for these tiny little ones. I'm just using an old pillow that I have on hand. So when he's stuffed, we're going to come back and work row 19, which starts with four decreases, five single crochet, and then a final decrease, bringing us down to 10 stitches around. Then we're going to work a final row of five decreases. And finish off. So with this little opening he has at the back, you can stuff a little cube in there or use your remaining tail and just pull it through the front loops of those remaining stitches. Pull it tight to close, which is gonna give you a little bit of a point and just thread your hook out through the middle of it from 
further up in your wombat. Grab that tail and just pull it all the way down inside and poke it till it's, it's flat. There is our little wombat. So now we just need to add a couple of details to the face. Where's my needle? Aww. Thank you, buddy. So first off, I'm gonna add the whites of his eyes, which is really easily done with just a strand of white. I thread my needle through really close to, say, the, if the eye was a clock, I'm threading it out at about two o'clock and then inserting it again at about six and threading across to about six o'clock on the second eye. And then to add the, add the white to the second eye, we will insert it at about 10 o'clock and then thread it out into the body somewhere. And trim off your white, tuck in any ends and now he just needs his nose. So his nose ex starts just under that starting magic ring and it should be two stitches wide and two rows long. So I'm going to stitch that on with a little bit of black now. When I'm happy with the size of his nose, I'm once again just going to thread my black through the body and out somewhere that's a little easier to hide. And trim off any loose ends. So there is our little wombat. I hope you had a fun time making him with me today. So the hint for day two is, thankfully not aggressive, this creature is one of the deadliest on earth. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.